This is Twit. Windows yeah. 10. Um, I saw that the timeline uh, feature is uh, being pushed back. What is it and why should we care? And are we mm -hmm. sad? Mm -hmm. <laughs> sad? Are we happy? Are we happy? Um, <laughs> I guess it wasn't that surprising because I... I am not an insider, but I know Paul is. And I don't think you guys have had a build of Timeline in any of the insider builds, right? Nope. 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 So Timeline was that thing they showed at Build where um, it's related to pick up where you left off. And what it does is if you're working on something um, and you stop and do something else, you can look and, and kind of click on a card and pick up in an app where you where you last left off. So say say you're working on something in Excel, then you go do something else on your PC, and then you want to come back to where you were. You can click on the card, and the whole pick up where you left off took that for a bit further and said you could also do that across devices. So if you were working on a Windows desktop and then you went home and started using your Android phone, you could pick up with that where you left off. Um, neither of those things are going to be in the Fall Creators update now, and. I was trying to find if Microsoft actually said, like, definitively, this is going yes. to be in the creator's update. They did, right? They I, said it. So what, I have not looked this up yet, but Joe Belfieri claims they did not say this. I, yeah, I'm did. pretty sure they I, did. I'm pretty sure they did. Yeah. Well, they you know, showed Apple it. Apple has functionality right? like this called hangover or handoff yeah. or whatever it is. Hangover. Yeah. And, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, the Apple thing probably works great. I don't use it, but... Um, I would imagine, you know, when being in control of all those platforms really helps make that kind of thing happen. I, I think yeah. speaking as a Windows user. Without Windows sort of Phone, understand. what is what does it even mean to do a handoff? Well, and if you can make this stuff work across platform and work on Android and iOS, that becomes very interesting, ah. right? And, you know, at, at Build, they did show off a number of Windows 10 things or number, Windows 10 related things that would improve phones, not not Microsoft phones, you know, mm -hmm. and this being one of them. Uh, well, or the pick up where you left off being one of them. Um but yeah, you know, she's right. We, we've not seen, I don't think we've seen any of this stuff in any of these Windows Insider builds. And I'm starting to wonder if some of this other stuff is going to fall behind, like the cloud clipboard they uh, said stuff it that is. we're some, talking Somebody about. said it, that's not going to make it either, the cloud clipboard. Right. And that's, so, that's connected, though, isn't it, to pick up where you left off? Well, yes. I mean, but these were the right. most exciting things uh, that announced for Windows yeah, 10. I, I mean, know. <laughs> you know, um, yeah. it, it's it's really kind of gutted it. And by the way, it speaks to what I just talked about, this notion that Microsoft for some reason feels that they have to update Windows twice a year. But now they're making all these promises and then they're not delivering them in the next update. This is not the first time it's happened. Um, yeah. In fact, on the web today, still inexplicably, is a video introducing you to the Windows 10 Creators Update featuring a bunch of things that are not in it. You know, because they made that video months in advance and at the time planned to include that stuff and then later claimed it was just aspirational. Yeah. Um, it wasn't meant to indicate what was going to be in the release. But then why is it on the Creators Update website, you ask? I, I don't know. Right. So that's a little disappointing. I know. Um, you know, I in some ways I don't want to dwell on this too much because mm -hmm. we got really down on Microsoft during the Windows 8 time when they would always um, – under promise and over deliver, right? So they would never tell you what was coming and then some stuff would show up and you'd be like, oh, I wish we had known that was coming. So now they're kind of going the opposite way, right? They're showing us their their vision for things oh, that are coming and how it could play out, but they're not delivering on it. So now they're doing the reverse, which right? Is worse. <laughs> so which is worse? Actually, I, I have a solution to this problem. But first, um, Mary Jo, would you grab your gong for a second? Because I have a slight rant I'd uh -oh. like to go Oh, on. boy, here we go. Oh, so, no. <laughs> time no, for the gong. The, 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 the issue I have with this is that I, for some reason, there's an empty box behind me in the video. Okay, so anyway, the issue I have with this... <laughs> I'm moving. He's moving, folks. Uh, He's moving. The issue I have with this is that it's easy to fix. You just you don't say this is coming in the next version. You say sometime in the next year we will deliver features. We're not promising it for the next version, but we want to show you this now because, you know, insiders will be testing it this year, et cetera. I mean, I, I think the issue I had is that they came up very publicly, and you can go watch the video yourself right now, made promises, and now the way that they scale them back is somebody notices an asterisk on a website. They mention it on Twitter, and then a Microsoft executive gets on Twitter in a place where no one's going to see the response. That's a very says, yeah, good actually, point. We, we cancel that feature, and I'm sorry, but that is a horrible way to communicate yeah. with your customers. But they're caught it's up a little bit in this new this new world of you know. Yeah, uh, that's all. And they didn't totally cancel it, right? They they. No, it's, it's, yeah, well, it's coming. 
Belfiore said um, it insiders should start seeing the uh, feature in that's some not, insider builds right after we deliver fall creators update. That's not, o but that's not okay. I, that means okay. it's not coming until the next. <laughs> <enough. laughs> wow, the uh, gong, the time to gong is getting shorter and shorter. I noticed. It it's, is. No, it's okay. Time to gong. I, 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 she's right not to want this because I could I could T -T destroy the next two hours. So. No, you know, um, again, uh, like. I, let's be realistic, right? Things happen in software development, and do we want them to roll out features that are like half baked and horrible? No, right? No, no. I, I, my, I guess my point is, you all you have to do is communicate it more clearly. I, I don't yep. mind that it's going to take this long. If they had right. come out in April and said, yeah, a year from now we're going to have this thing, okay, fine. Or we that might not know exactly when this is. It might be Fall Creators update. It might be next spring. Redstone that, Four. They, they could have said yeah. that. <laughs> you know, I, I yeah. it, it's not hard to qualify things in such a way that you don't look like a jerk later. That's all. Um, <laughs> that's that's all. It's it's simple. You know, yeah. um, I agree with you about the under promise over deliver thing. And you know, I, I always think back to Windows Vista and Longhorn and yeah. how awful that must have been for Jim Alchin and those guys. And, and being afraid that Microsoft would never take those kinds of risks again because of the way that they failed so badly uh, with that thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, you're right. I don't want to see them gripped by this. But, I, but you know, this is yeah. one of those extremes issues. I yeah. mean, I think with these two major feature update things a year, they painted themselves into kind of a weird corner. And I don't know why they did that. If you well, look at the yeah. list of things that Apple's yeah. delivering in Mac OS, it's not very exciting. But you know what? That's a legacy, well-understood mm -hmm. software thing. It's, it doesn't need crazy major updates. 